So how do you start a youth basketball training academy or business? My name is Nick Aldero, and I'm a success coach with Make Money Coaching Sports. If you're looking to connect after this video, you can text me. It should be behind me right there on the whiteboard. Text me the word GROW to 732-908-2315. It is really me. It's not a, a, a bot responding to you. I will directly respond to you uh, if you're looking to connect and, and hop on a Zoom call where I can learn more about what you do uh, currently for your, your basketball business. So how do I start a youth training basketball academy or business? Well, first, you have to put it out there into the world that, and tell people that's what you're doing. So whether it's Instagram, uh, Facebook, I really recommend Facebook because that's where a lot of parents are. Um, and you can easily go into Facebook groups by location. So like whatever uh, town you're in, in, in the state, you type that into groups and you'll see a bunch of groups come up and you can literally put things in there um, you could put them for free because some of them don't rely, don't allow business uh, promotion. So, but when you're first starting out, you're going to have to do things for free so people know who you are, right? So it's very simple to put in there, um, hey, we're, I'm having a, a free basketball training uh, clinic on this day and this day. If this is something that you're this age, this age would be interested in, just comment the word yes below, right? So now you're checking to see before you even do it, okay, who's interested in it? And you're doing it within, you could do it within a bunch of different communities on Facebook and you're basically advertising for free as long as you can get into that community. Um, usually if you put in there, hey, I'm planning, I might plan to move there, right? Um, then they'll let you in. You know, might be a little slight white lie, but... Um, you know, or you could just say, Hey, I'm looking to do things for, um, for kids, uh, that want to get better at basketball. Right. And they'll probably let you in. So you do something for free. Now, what's the key to that though? The key is to collect information. Cause let's say like 10 parents say, yes, that would, that's something we would love to do. Cool. You come up with a day and time. And then you want to collect their name, number, and email. So whether you message them on Facebook or whether you have them click on a form that leads to um, fill out their information. Now, I use something called Kajabi. Uh, that is, it costs money, but you could use anything. You can use something called Jot Forms. That's free. You can use Google Forms. Um, the bottom line is you want their name, their phone number, and their email. Okay, that's very, very important. So you can communicate them later when you're going to actually be having a paid event, right? So you're, you're, you're putting out there an age, you're putting out there, would you be interested in this, mom or dad? You know, comment yes below. Awesome. Thanks for commenting. Here's this link. Fill it out and I'll put you on the list, right? Because um, it's only for this many kids. You want to create some type of urgency, right? Um, plus, you know, if you're just starting out, you might not feel comfortable with a crazy number of kids. So you might say, Hey, this clinic is for 12 kids. And, you know, in order to secure your spot, you just got to fill out this form right here. It's 100% free. And then now you have their information. So once you gather those 12 people, right now you pick a day and a time, we're going to do it at this location that was in that Facebook group. Um, you know, and if they can't make it, they can't make it, but it's free anyway. So, but you still have their information where you can reach out to them when you do do something that is paid for, right? And you're going to want to repeat this for different towns, different organizations, everything. Because remember, you're just starting out. So I know, like, you know, you want to start a business, but when you start a business, you might have to do a lot, not even a lot, but you might have to do some things for free. And the key is, information you own their information put it into your put it into your um, email marketing system now again I use Kajabi you don't have to use that if you want to if you don't want to spend any money you can do everything on Google right you can put everybody on to a Google spreadsheet here's their name number email and you can just highlight it and throw them into a Google email when you want to sell them something right but now you might be wondering okay well how should I collect payment now an amateur 
or somebody who's just starting off would be like, oh yeah, you know, cash check, uh, cash app, Venmo, this, that. Um, I'm talking about when you do do something paid, you want to have them pay online before they get there. I use something called SamCart where you can make a nice page and they can pay online. Okay. Um, now, do you have to do that? No, but ideally you want them to pay online before they get there to secure their spot. Um, and then this way, you know, they're not just, if they, cause if they don't show up, they're like, yeah, yeah, I'll throw you cash. But what if they don't show up? Right. Plus you don't want to be walking around a local park cause you're just starting out. So you're probably not renting a gym. You don't want to be walking around a local park like a drug dealer hang, having all this cash in you. Plus, it's another step that, you know, some people might not pay. Again, so backtracking to what we said before. First, you do something for free for numerous things. Collect their info first, okay? Save it, whether it's a Google spreadsheet, whatever, wherever you want to do with it, right? So this is all free stuff. Then when you have enough, inf- you have enough people's information, like, hey, I'm running a clinic on this day and this time. It's however much money you want to charge for it. Here's the link to enroll, right? You just email them. Now, all of a sudden, you're starting to get, to get momentum. So now, maybe you do a free team training session, right? Maybe you do something for a local rec department. Uh, maybe you contact a local high school coach. Maybe now you want to work with some older kids. But that is how you start your youth training business. You reach out to different coaches, you reach out to different churches or who have organizations, right? And you're going to have to provide your service for free until you can, you know, you prove that, hey, I'm a legit coach. And if nobody knows you, you're going to have to prove it. Now, what helps that is having some videos online that you can say to people like, hey, um, I'm looking to do a free clinic for your organization. Here's a video that you can check out of me teaching and coaching. Right, and you upload it down on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and you use those those uh, platforms. Now, having a big social media following doesn't mean anything if you know there's people following you that aren't willing to pay for something, or maybe they don't live local. If you're only doing in-person training, so it's not about your following. It's not about it's not about your your number of followers. It's about um, the quality of them. You know their location. If you do local stuff, okay. So I hope that helps. Hey, if you're looking to connect and talk to me. Um, on Zoom, where we can talk face to face, so I can learn more about what you're currently doing, or, or maybe you already have a business and you're just looking to um, you're looking to expand and grow, um, or you don't have one yet and you're just looking to get started. Text me the word "grow" to seven three two nine zero eight two three one five. Um, should be on the whiteboard behind me. Hopefully, you can see it, and that will be in the description as well. You, or you could just schedule a call with me. All right. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and I will see you next video.